Hi there everybody and welcome back to the channel. You're watching A Ritter Bit Will Do and today I'm going to be talking about my cab on my BX23S. So if that is uh, interesting to you at all, stick around because I got a few things that uh, I get a lot of questions on the comments. I'm going to try to answer those today so stay tuned. I just realized it's gonna rain, so this is actually a pretty good video for the cab. So uh, I came back here to the shed because I gotta put the doors on the tractor. So right away you're gonna see how quickly I can do that. So here we go. That's all there is to it. Alright, so you're probably wondering, why did I need to put the doors on if I'm going to be in the garage? Well, I'm, I want to talk about the cab, I want to talk about the reverse airflow. And I want to have the doors on for that for a demonstration purpose, so you'll see what I mean. <laughs> it's really coming down. <laughs> That's all right. We need some of that rain. All right. I want to talk about this engine and the cooling system the Kubota BX has. Here's the fan back here. All right. This is the radiator reserve here. I'm going to get to the other side so you can see a little better. Okay, here's the fan. Here's the radiator. You can see it a lot easier over here. The radiator on the Kubota BX is actually behind the engine, right? It's back here. Every other tractor manufacturer that I know of has a radiator in front of the engine. So I want to tell you why this is, is an advantage. This is a good thing. You're an operator in the tractor and now Woo, thunder! It's gonna be a good one. All right, so as an operator in your tractor, instead of that hot air from the engine blowing at you, now it's blowing away from you, out in front of the tractor. And that airflow is actually clearing this grill guard on those dry days when you've got the debris flying all over, you know, those lightweight grass clippings and uh, cotton stuff. And it just, just kind of, it gets, it gets into that into that grill guard and stuff and it makes your temperature go up well in the Kubota the airflow is blowing out so you don't have that problem in front of the tractor sometimes you'll get it over here on this part of the tractor holy cow big old thunderstorm that one made me jump a little bit <laughs> well this is fun videoing in the rain oh look at it coming down all right bring it on Okay, <laughs> back to my point. But hey, if I'm not getting interrupted by the weather, it's the kids. The kids are napping, so now's a good time for video, okay? All right, so back to my point. If I'm in the tractor and I'm on brush hogging or something and, I, and I'm mowing and I don't want stuff flying around, now it's getting caught up in here, right? It's getting stopped here. Well, now I can just simply just brush that away with my hand and keep that clean. And I don't have to get off of the tractor to do that. I don't even have to stop. I can just keep going and it's and that airflow just increases and pulls off the tractor does what it's supposed to do so that's the advantage that's a huge advantage now because of that system i get a lot of people that ask me how does the tractor stay warm in the winter time you know in the cool fall and winter time when i need heat right because this this tractor has heat this cab has heat here's the heat vents right here on the front uh, there's actually there's four of these there's one here 
There's one here, and there's two more on the other side. Okay, so how does the tractor stay warm if the airflow is going out the front? Well, I'm gonna tell you. This right here is part of the cab. And right now I have it off, but I, I usually keep it on, but I had to get to the battery. So I took this off and, and I figured that's kind of why I would do a video. It'd be a good time to do it. So that's why we're doing this. So I'm gonna put this back on and I'm gonna show you how it fits and the reason it's made the way it is. So these little thumb screws right here, and there's seven of them uh, throughout this uh, radiator shroud. I think that's a proper term is a radiator shroud. Um, there's seven of those that you just gotta tighten up with your thumbs. Really easy to take off, put back on. That's not a problem. Uh, but there's a reason that it's designed the way it is. So that's what we're gonna get into now. Now that I have this radiator shroud back on, I'm gonna get you in real close here and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. You can see that there's a nice gap between this radiator screen and this radiator shroud, okay? The part of the cab, this is a shroud. This is a screen, part of the tractor. So there's enough room in here for plenty of air to get through and around and through the screen. And then the fan sucks it right through past the engine and out the front of the tractor, clearing all of the debris. So you never have any debris gathering on the sides or in front of your tractor on Kubota VXs. It's a pretty nice feature. Um, now, the cab has another feature on the inside. I don't, if you notice that big hole in the middle of the shroud, we're going to talk about that now. So this big hole, this big gap right here is about a square foot of area. And there is a plate. And this is the plate. And that typically goes right over the top of that. Oh, what a cool sticker. Look at that. Wow. But that typically goes right over there. There's just four thumb screws. You can remove that really easily. Uh, so in the summertime, you can even have increased airflow through to your engine. And in the wintertime, you put this on and you can block that airflow. And uh, then you stay nice and warm because the engine isn't sucking all of that warm air out of the cab. So we're going to continue to talk about airflow. And now we're inside the cab. And the nice thing about this Curtis cab is that the windows open, which is great. Now, because there's a reverse airflow, there's always air coming in through the window when you have it open. So, I actually have a little bit of marking tape, and we're going to do a little demonstration. So, I'm going to start the tractor. I'm going to put some of this tape up here, and uh, we're going to see what that looks like, as, so you can actually see the airflow. All right, so now I've got some tape on the windows and I'm gonna open each one of them and, and show, you, show you the airflow. So I'm gonna start the tractor and you'll see what I'm talking about. That gives you a little bit better understanding what I'm talking about with the airflow issue. Uh, the Kubota BX, like I said, it's the only tractor that I know of that has that reverse airflow. So this particular cab makes a ton of sense for the Kubota BX series. Most of the time I just have the windows open and that gives me plenty of airflow, but if you really wanted to on the BX23S, you can pop open the roof. That's simple. You can also open the front window. You've already seen me take the back panel off. 
but I'll do it again. I love this cab. It gives me so many different options. If I want to just have the doors on and the windows open, I can do that. It keeps brush from getting on me and slapping me in the face. Uh, you know, if I'm out on the trail and, and doing some flail mowing or brush hogging. I can take the doors off and I can take the back panel off if I want the tractor to feel like it has that open cab feel. Uh, where I can, if I'm getting on and off of the tractor frequently and I don't want to mess with the door all the time, well that's a perfect solution. Just take the door off. Not many cabs where that where you can have that feature. The front window pops open. The side windows open. It's it has just a ton of versatility. It's a perfect cab for this tractor. It's a perfect solution for me. I own a third acre lot here in a small town in Minnesota, and uh, I use my tractor for mowing my grass and for plowing snow in the winter time. And I do a little bit of little bit of work around the neighborhood for my neighbors and move some snow uh, when they need some help. And I just enjoy having this this Kubota BX, but I really like this Curtis cab. It keeps me warm. I used to have a BX25 without a cab. And after a couple winters in Minnesota of clearing snow, now I got, I got a little smarter. <laughs> Working a little smarter instead of harder and suffering in the cold elements. Uh, so if you're looking to stay warm and you got a small lot and you're looking for a tractor, I highly suggest the Kubota BX and the Curtis premium cab. It's awesome. So check it out. You know, it wouldn't be fair of me to talk about this cab and not mention the price. I have a lot of people ask me, how much does it cost? Well, this, this cab is about $5,000. It's, it's not cheap. But if you live in a climate like I do, you know that's worth every penny. All right, just don't tell your wife, okay? Then you'll be fine. Just, just don't tell her. I won't tell her. You don't tell her. She'll never know. You can get it financed through your dealer, though. That's the cool thing. Uh, but if that's a little too expensive for you, Curtis offers a different cab. They offer what's called the Curtis Advantage Series. And it's a cab that still keeps you warm in the wintertime if that's what you're looking for. Uh, and the doors still come off. Uh, it just doesn't have all the bells and whistles this one does. Uh, but it will, keep you, it will keep you out of the sun. That's the other thing I didn't talk about. Staying in the shade. You know, when you get to be my age, you start worrying about skin cancer and things like that. So use that as an angle to convince your wife you need a cab. You gotta stay healthy and live a long time, right? Who else is gonna clear the snow <laughs> or mow the grass? Um, so anyways, that's that in a nutshell, guys. I uh, hope that explains more about this cab. Uh, I think I covered everything. Oh, there's, oh, I thought of something else. You know how the uh, the Kubota BX has the, uh, what do they call it, the, the Swift Attach Loader? I think is that what it is swift attach anyway these little windows here open right up so i can undo my loader and put that on and off pretty easily uh, with the cab i still have to get off to undo the hydraulic system but that's not a big deal so there i think that covers everything let's see i got some switches up here for front lights rear lights and i got a windshield wiper i also have a rear windshield wiper i just haven't had it on yet i thought that i would need it with my snow blower uh, but two winters now without it, and I don't know if I'm ever going to install it. We'll see. So, um, yeah, that, I'm trying to think of anything else that you might have a question about before I close out this video. Uh, oh, <laughs> I know something else. The Artillion Tool Rack. I know someone's going to ask about that. So, uh, the Artillion Tool Rack. Um, if you haven't seen my video on that, check it out and there's going to be more videos on the artillion system um, with their toolbox i have a tool basket now i'm going to show you too that's coming up in the future so stay tuned to that subscribe to the channel give me a like it really does help me that's the best thing you can do for me in fact please just hit the like button you don't have to comment hit the like button i would really appreciate it if what it does it promotes this video to a larger audience and more people view it and uh, it helps me out so i would appreciate it if you could do that Otherwise, leave me a comment, join our group on Facebook, a Ritter Bit will do. And until next time, everybody, keep on tractoring and God bless.